Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Nexomon Extinction. Figured I would maybe try to level up a little bit. Ooh, green flower. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like a plant version of Double Slash, maybe? Dark Mist, new skill. Okay. Uh, we don't need Plasma and Scratch. So I will replace that. Hmm. And did you get anything? No. You're just the highest level Nexomon we have now. Alright. So we're gonna head back to the city. Yeah, we can't heal anything else, okay. But yeah, our little onion is doing pretty good. Owning just uh, wrecked two electric types. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. That poison, when it works, it works pretty well. Alright. We activated the warp stone. I thought it'd just immediately take us, but no. Okay. So, yes. To Perum City. Now, instead of town. Um, okay. So, what do we want to do here? I guess go back. Turn in our quest, maybe. Maybe get our badge upgraded a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. Let's be real. Alright. Amelia, what will you give me? Okay, apparently I started talking to from someone else. <coughs> well done, Jalamon. I expected nothing less from you. This is your reward for successfully protecting your client. Yay! We got stuff. It's not much, but you will get far more interesting things as you take on harder quests. Can we talk about, you know, the thing that tried to eat us? Ugh. Fine, I suppose that you've earned a lesson about the tyrants. Yeah, I, I've been getting almost eaten by one. Would be a good time to learn. You know. Gentlemen, as we speak, the Nexamon of our world are waging a war among themselves. They are trying to replace the previous king of monsters, Omnicron, a powerful creature that was slain millennia ago. For centuries, almost every Nexomon has been competing to be acknowledged as the new king. See? Such is the reason our world is so miserable. We are caught in the middle of a ridiculous power struggle among monsters. Hold on. A thousand years? How come they haven't found a new king yet? What's taking so long? Very good question, Cumber. That's the thing. Nobody knows. And at this rate, humans might not survive to see the end of the war. However, a breed of exceptional Nexomon has started to appear in recent decades. We call them Tyrants. In many ways, their power and intelligence resemble Omnicrons, even if just a little. Nevalis is one of them. The Tyrants are an ill omen. It is likely that one of those psychotic beasts will eventually become the new king. Hmm. And good rock music, by the way. That's the gist of it. Savage Nexomon annihilating each other, crushing hopeless humans in the process. Don't be concerned about such matters just yet, gentlemen. I have a very important job for you, so please focus. I mean, focus is my middle name, except not. Who's that? Hello, John. I have a rather pressing request. Is it to not be turned into a ghost? Hey, what's up? I'll get to the point. The orphanage is under attack. Okay, well that's not cool. What? Why? Their intentions don't matter, lad. They must be stopped either way. This may be a dangerous mission. You'll need to team up with both Ross and Nora. There shouldn't be any issues if the three of you work together. Clearly, we work together very well. Yes. Okay. With 500 coins and Nexo traps. You know the way to my heart. Please take a moment to prepare yourselves. There's a healing center and a general store in the city, remember? Once you're ready, head to the west, back to the orphanage. We are counting on you, kid. Ross and Nora are waiting outside. All right. Just received another story related quest, but there are still plenty of side quests you can take on. Look for characters with a star icon. It means that they have a special request. Okay. Oh, and they may show up again in areas we've previously explored. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I see how this is. I think. Maybe. Unless I'm blind. Then probably not. But I have goggles, so. Even a sandstorm should not be able to blind me, in theory. All right, you. Which items do we have? Hmm. 
Because a normal potion is 67. That's good to note. I think it was, what, 30 coins more expensive with the Wandering Merchant? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that was with a discount. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, we do need some anti-burns and freezes. So, yes. Give me a few of those, please. Mm hmm. Actually, I'll just take a few, yeah. Because I don't think we'll need too many of these. Hmm. Never really used the ethers. The potions, though, while we're still low level, are still going to be pretty important. And it looks like he has a total inventory or something at the bottom right. What does that mean? Hmm. Okay, we still have all these foods, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, no, I didn't mean to talk to you again, Cooper. I'm sorry. Oops. Not that I don't enjoy talking to you. I know Coco doesn't for some reason. Which we still don't know why. My guess being the dogs have taken over the cat shops somehow. Ah. Anyway, I should heal before I forget again. Here we go. I would like the healing, thank you. All right. And now, we go in search of that other thing I was going to purchase once upon a time. We're still a bronze tamer, so we shouldn't need to explore houses yet. Okay. So yes, I think we just go back to the research lab, look for that whistle. Maybe trade with you. Ah, oh, we still don't have enough shards. Okay. Well, tough cookies. Hmm. We'll go over here. Do I have enough for you? I do. So yes. Get the mineral whistle out of that. Okay. So that's nice. Uh, was it you fella? No. No, I think it was the dude who accidentally released the ancient next moon that had the other thing that was like a thousand coins. So he must be in the side area over here. Yes. Yes, there we are. Okay. All right. Yes. Accept experimental lure. Okay. So now we should be able to lure them in, right? Wonderful. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for simply having that lure in your inventory. I'm sure that those clone monsters will come after you eventually. Yep. When you least expect it, it will happen. Good luck. Okay, so I completed the quest tutorial. Additional Nexamon, such as the ones you just saw, may now appear at random in the wild. There is one Nexamon per element. You might find them in matching environment. The Ignitia for the fire type, for example. Good luck. Okay. Hmm. I'm curious. What does this actually look like? Uh, lure, 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 lure. Oh, secret sauce can be stacked too, okay. Uh, there you are. Okay, it doesn't say we need to do anything, it'll just happen. Got it. All right, but now we can see extinct next month. I'm guessing it's pretty rare? I don't know though. I guess we'll find out the hard way. Hmm. Okay, and I probably can't go into the forest yet. Oh, maybe I can. I heard that Khan Woods may have been the birthplace of Ozar, the legendary hero. For that reason, lots of people want to visit the woods. Who doesn't want to learn more about Ozar? And not that other guy who came afterwards. That's so unfair. Why can't civilians check out the woods? It's not like they were tyrants or something there. Oh, maybe Hilda's hiding out there like she did in the past, if I remember correctly. I wonder if there are any caves with nice shards to mine in these woods. Maybe the guild found a huge pile of shards, and that's why they won't let us in. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing I've ever heard. Oh, you don't have an access card, do you? Only authorized personnel may enter the western woods. Where can we get an access card? Sorry, but only scientists are granted such a privilege. Even guild tamers are forbidden from visiting. I'm afraid that you won't be able to enter the woods until our research is complete. I'll find them. I'll find my own way into the woods. From like the other side or something, probably. Hmm. Okay. So we didn't find any new quests over there. And none over here. Okay. 
Well then, back we will go. Alright. So I'm not talking as much this time, I'm just paying more attention to the music. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, warp stone. Do we warp? No, we go to the Dragon Isles now. <laughs> That's what we do. And then we can activate their warp stone, and then we don't have to pay for this airship anymore. Hopefully it won't break apart for some reason. Like a tyrant attacking. I mean, what's the likelihood of that, right? So unlikely. Uh, I think I already bought the ticket. Let me double check, though. Boop. Hello, sir. The airship is ready to depart. Are you heading to the Drake Isles today? I noticed that you're not a silver tamer yet, which is the recommended ranking. But you can still come if you insist. Shall we get going? Goodness, yes. All right, then. Please follow me. Hopefully I'll live long enough to get to the warp stone and catch some stuff. Oh. It's like a big old concert traveling cruise ship thing. Okay. Oh, I can see Parham from up here. I can also see the agonizing decay and obliteration that our world is suffering as we scramble for hope in a long-lost battle. Oh, I can see my house, too. <laughs> At least you're uh, positive about it, I suppose. Ugh, so noisy. That woman sings the exact same thing over and over. Yeah, it's called pop music. Ah! The Drake Isles are a very profitable region indeed. Lots of tamers are desperate to get a dragon or two, so they gotta buy lots of nexotraps. Oh yeah, maybe I should've bought more. I'm from the Immortal Citadel. A visit to the Drake Isle should be a nice change. I heard that the village over there is very picky on who is allowed to enter. But I'm a ghost. What are they gonna do? You know, that's a very good point, Mr. Ghost. Very good point. Ooh, treasure. Those who become Grand Masters are entitled to a personal airship. Why? Yeah, good question, Gabriel. Arapi Companion. Hello, Caitlin. Found a couple of those recently. I bet we put that on our personal airship, huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the whole Pokemon, what was it? I never actually did it, but you could make like your secret clubhouse or something in some of the games. There's a mood you could use. Hmm. Eurus is a powerful tyrant that lives in the Drake Isles. However, he is a little strange. He's not actually hostile. He spends all day sleeping by a waterfall. Okay, well, you know, that's not so bad. Dragons are very picky about the food they eat. The village in the Drake Isles probably sells what you need, though. So, don't waste my food on dragons. Got it. A Sandillo companion. Hmm. Uh, anything in there? No. Okay. Thank you for your help. Moving on. The Drake Isles are where renegade Lydia lives. Okay. We have nothing to fear, though. Apparently Lydia is in some kind of alliance with the guild. Well, that's nice. Better than, you know, everybody beating each other up or something. If you need to deposit or withdraw next amount, use this console here. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. I don't need it. I have my A-team right here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm in the middle of the hallway because, well, I have a fear of heights. Okay. Fair enough. Dragons are more difficult to catch than regular next amount. The village of the Drake Isles has experts who can help you improve your chances. For a price. I mean, that's fair if they spend all their time learning how to do it. Without enough reputation, the village and the Drake Isles won't let you enter. No matter, though. You can still explore a good chunk of the region anyway. And get a warp stone there. Ha ha ha. Let me know if you notice anything wrong with the airship. Well, you guys can repair the airship in midair? What? No, of course not. I just wanted to know which areas to avoid. That's, uh... Comforting. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Now we don't talk to everybody up here. Did you know that there are dragons for each element? That's right, even psychic type and ghost type dragons. Nobody really understands how they came to be, though. Uh, probably by just being the coolest things around. Okay, that's locked, that makes sense. I heard that Stella is also a very skilled tamer. She's a gold tamer, how cool is that? Ooh, look at again! That's Stella the Tamer, the greatest! And probably the repetitive. What a wonderful voice. Truth be told, I fly every day just to hear that lady sing. Stella's performance is just marvelous. It almost makes me forget that I'm a ghost, cast for all eternity. Ugh, I made myself sad again. Fair enough. Uh, you aren't talking... 
you are singing. Okay. <laughs> le, 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 le. Yeah. Uh, reminds me of the Trollolo song. So apparently that guy had to do that because uh, if I remember the story correctly, they told him he couldn't sing the song that he was going to do, and it was, I think, Soviet Russia. Do you want to leave the airship? Yes. Oh, that worked. I'm not dead. Hmm. Kind of like a more oriental area, let's see. Mm -hmm. and there's a shop over there. Maybe we can buy some food for dragons. All right, then, Drake Isles, you're cool. I like you. Wow, so this is the Drake Isles. I heard Battle Village is specializing in catching dragons. We could learn a thing or two from them. We could learn a thing or two if they let us in. <laughs> Which they won't. There are no warp stones nearby. The closest one. Oh, it's in the village. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Hello, hello. Are you heading back to Peril? No. Okay. So that's how we can go back if we can't find a warp stone. Be wary of bandits. Even in this land, we have our fair share of trouble. There's a small marketplace nearby for you to stock up on supplies. The kids of the Drake Isles just... they just play around. We don't have this kind of sight back in Pear. It really shows how dire the situation is down there. Dang. Well, all right then. Greetings, Tamla of the Guild. The best supplies are available in Lydia's village, but this should do for now. Ooh, a super potion, you say? Mm hmm. Super ether. Anti-sleep. Yes, I would like a few of those. Okay, okay. Anti-bind. We'll buy a couple more of those. All right, then. Super potion. Let's get it like three, just in case we need them in the future. All right. Get four more of you. And then... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think we're good. All right, let's talk to everybody. There are rumors among the miners about a cave somewhere in the Drake Isles. I spent days looking for it, but it's simply not here. Or you need a vault key. And it's behind a door or something. <laughs> it's actually safe for kids to run around the Drake Isles. Since dragons hunt tyrants, this place is super nice. Ooh, they hunt tyrants, you say? Hmm. Our village has some very skilled craftsmen that can make special Nexo traps. Advanced tamers travel long distances just to meet them. And I'm gonna heal again just in case. Yep. Done and done. Your next mod are all good. Maybe you said something about so many tamers coming. Lydia owns a tyrant and a bunch of greater dragons. Nobody can dispute her strength. Normally, owning a tyrant is illegal, but for some reason the guild allows it. I wonder if they're just afraid. Probably. Welcome to Drake Isles, my friend. A good tamer always carries all sorts of meals to lure next one. Maybe I got something that you're missing. Let's trade. Sure. That's actually a pretty good deal, I think. That's eight... So 8 times 30 is 240, so at the least, we're like losing maybe 10 coins. Different places and merchants will offer their own kind of meals. So wherever you go, be sure to stock up on whatever they got. Stocking. Hmm. I don't have my wonderful, cool lit anymore. So, we're going to do this and hope... Wind pellet and icicle are effective. Or we miss. That that happens too. There we go. Critically effective. Good job, Mirren. Okay, we are bound. But we can still attack. Okay. It's bound to. Okay, it's just damage over time like poison. Alright. Alright, we're learning things. Hello, worm. Well, let's try that. It's our new move. We gotta at least try it. Okay, poison cloud. Yeah, this is probably gonna hurt a lot. Okay. Oh, we got the poison off. Which is pretty good. I'm gonna try this one more time and then we'll switch out. Okay. Time to switch. Get Coco, I choose you. Okay. Those are some frosty winds there, but it's nothing compared to a lightning bolt. There we go. Lightning bolt. Hmm. 
Coco level up? Yeah! There we go. Good job, Coco. Okay, and you, you're looking for dragons like everyone else? You can find some in the tall grass, but the big ones are a little harder to encounter. I saw a toad. Fair enough. All right, then, we go back to here. Then we go check out the next area. Yep. Yes, yeah, so many tangos do come here to check for dragons. Just like me. But do they have goggles, huh? That's a real question. It's a dangerous threat ahead, kid. Sure, dragons don't attack people, but if you invade their home, it won't matter. Oh, that's fair. Warp stones are essential to quickly travel back and forth. If you can't use warp stones yet, then you'll be doing a lot of walking. Oh, I see that you can use warp stones. That's great. Okay. Hmm. Anything in here? Oh, this is... What is this called? Um, you can have a heater under there, too, but it's like a, a table. Never mind. Anyway. Hello, Traveler. Are you new around here? Here, a little welcome gift. Ooh, anti-sleep. Thank you. That's nice of you. All right. What is that thing called? It's definitely not a futon. That's a bed. But <laughs> what is it called? I want to say it starts with a K. Oh. Excuse me, Traveler. Isn't this place a little beyond your skill level? Many naive tamers come here thinking that they can handle our dragons. Would you care to prove me wrong? Oh, absolutely. If you're the same level as me. Hey, you are. We're fine. Okay, well now we need to switch to Coco immediately. Go, Coco. Sigh. Hmm. Lightning work. We must try. Mm. That's right. We are effective. Casno. Casno? Hmm. Well, lightning's still good against water. Okay. There you go again. Okay. And then use Pulse Storm because it's cheaper on the stamina. Hmm. I don't know what Pulse. There we go. Alright. Only three damage difference. That's important to note. Okay, I'm gonna have XP for Coco. Oh, now that is a welcome surprise. You're a decent tailor, Jama. I shouldn't have judged you so harshly. Do be careful, regardless. Our drakes are not so easily tamed. Thank you for the warning. All right. Hello, friend. New friend. Reputation is calculated for many factors such as unique Nexomon capture, levels, quests completed, and so on. There's a lot of stuff you can do to improve your reputation. Oh, so maybe... Hmm. Maybe we don't need to be a silver tamer or something. Okay. There aren't many good mining spots in this region, so we have to import most of the elemental shards we need. They are very important. We make elemental nexo traps with them. You know, that kind of makes sense. This was a man-made island, apparently, that is now floating in the sky. So mining is probably not a good idea. Might break through to the end. In fact... <gasps> Dinja, you're ultra rare. You'll be my ultra friend soon. I hope. Okay, we didn't poison, which is actually probably for the best. Hmm, there we go. I have gone against my instincts and decided to do that anyway. Let's go with Skunkute, because you're about to be replaced, my friend. You have done well for us, Skunkute. But it is time. Drop it. Okay. Uh, how long does poison last? Okay, yeah. And poison does give plus 10%. We can feed what you like. We have strawberry cake. Let's try that. Yeah, okay. Not great. Okay, we've got like one chance at this. Oh, it actually did plus 8%. Instead of plus 5%. Hmm. Okay, so it is none of these typings. Oh, 46% though. Okay. Okay. Come on. Yes, Ninja! You are our new friend. Hello. It has short legs, adorable big ears, and a huge fluffy tail. Since it isn't a good runner, it prefers to hop. It sounds basically like their version of Eevee. Adorable. Okay. Uh, send a party for sure. Give it a skull and cute. Yes. Ninja! Alright. And now, 
Let's move some cores. You do not need this core anymore. Okay, Dinja on the other hand. You could use both of these, I'm sure. There we go. Hmm. I think we're still good with what we've got. We can head back and heal. But I don't think we need to yet. Don't get lost, dear. This is a vast country, after all. Ladies' village is to the far north of the heart of the Isles. And that's apparently the closest warp stone. Hmm. You're mega rare. And I think you're higher level than Vodo, right? No, you're the same level. Huh. 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 Let's try to get some poison up in here. Nope. If he misses, though. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Let's try fanling, see if we can't get a status effect. 30% chance to infect confused. There we go. Cool areas. Frozen and confused. Seems like a pretty good combo. Okay. It's working. Alright. What's the chance? So, only plus 10%, so one status effect at all, looks like. Uh, this is ghost type, right? Thankfully, it does show you, kind of. Okay. So, yeah, we can get a 42% chance. I think we do this before it knocks itself out. I would try to feed it, but... Yeah. Okay. Hey, it worked. Dion was caught. If you spot one of these in the wild, it's usually as bad as a nightmare you cannot wake up from. Well, that's kind of sad. Okay, we're going to send you to party instead of Vogo. As cool as Voto is, it is uncommon versus mega rare. And if it's anything like the previous games, your rarity really does matter. Hmm. Switch with Coco. All right, Coco. Do what you can, my friend. With a pummel. And if Coco can't handle it, we should send in Mirn just for XP and growth. Uh, Lightning Horn. Will we make it puzzled? By our powers. Probably not. Nope. Alright then. Good work, team. Okay, let's heal up everybody so Onin can start to get some XP again. Uh, what about. Oh. Really? Just teleported. Hmm. Alright. Let's try Green Flow. It's nice to see that at the top left you can tell when you've caught something already of the uh, opposing creatures stuff. Ah, we'll green flow. No crit. That's okay, though. Onin is holding its own. Good job, Onin. The onion. Okay. Hey, there we go. Level up. Got some HP and stuff. Cool. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. Go in here. I think north is the village, apparently. Oi, you there? What's the deal? Get out of my house. I just moved here. No visitors. Shoot! Aw, oh, but I see that item. Oh. One day, sir, we will become your friend. And you'll appreciate it. I'm sure. Isn't that right, Dinja? Okay, we found a flan. A flan is the fan. Okay, we see you again. I guess I'll poison the flan for one. Okay, no poison. We'll switch to Mirren. Alright then. Here's the root. How rude. We'll get to the root of this problem. There we go. Uh, I bet Wind Pellet is in there. Uh, I'm wrong. I am wrong. Uh, that's what happens when you sometimes try to save some stamina. End up not saving any time at all. Or stamina. Ghost has Nexomon. Hmm. Such a wonderful place, isn't it? These dragons aren't as fearsome as some people might lead you to believe. Easy for a ghost to say. I'm not one of those sad wisps, child. I'm a seasoned tamer, just like you. Come, let me show you a lesson. 
All right, but where's your chalkboard? I need to know. Bira. Okay, you're new. We already have Dinja, though, so... Unless you have some cool skill Dinja doesn't have, I think we're fine with our choice. No poison still, huh? Okay, fine. Hmm... Dinja, it's time to earn your pay of food. Alright. Palm Flurry, 25% chance to inflict stun. 30% chance to inflict frail. Let's try to stun. Arrgh. Yeah, it has only 80% accuracy. This has only 85%. Okay, well. Try, try again. Okay. Try, try again. There we go. Good work, Dinja. Trebly, mineral type. Hmm. I think... Both my heavy hitters are weak to that. Onin, I think, is strong to mineral. If I am right, that would be great. I'm not sure. Okay, well, we are going to use a potion on Oni. At the very least, he's not weak to it. Alright, invaded Rock Knight. Let's just try to use a big hit then. It's not effective. Maybe wind is super effective against mineral. If I remember correctly, that was true in the old one, then? For science. Family. We're throwing you out there. Okay. Wind is super effective. Got it. Or at least, it doesn't take more damage. Let's get everybody some XP this time. Are you sickle? On my bison. Because I have two legs. Actually, Mion has four. What am I saying? All right. Got some decent XP on Oni, at least. And, yeah. As you can see, I can handle myself. You better keep training, Jonah, or I might catch up to you. All right, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've enjoyed Nexomon Extinction on Steam. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on what you think this gentleman will say to us. And I hope you have a great day, dear viewer.